Well, what a great day to be in the Army and a great day here at Fort Knox. Man, that weather is gorgeous. Um, I'm Greg Gardner. Uh, I'm the guy that's been uh, planning and uh, now executing the move of Fort Knox, uh, the move of uh, Human Resources Command to Fort Knox here since about 2005. Um, one thing I'd like to point out to you here before we start, everybody kind of understands that we do people for the Army. That's the green suitors. We manage the soldiers for the Army, but there's a lot of other things we do too, and I'd like to highlight just a couple of those. First is veterans. Many of you, I'm sure, in this audience are veterans. That's one of our responsibilities. Just like taking care of our soldiers who are currently serving, we have a responsibility to take care of those veterans that have served in the past. Uh, one of the things we do, 75,000 veterans that are unaccounted for right now uh, since World War II, Korea, Vietnam, we manage that on a, on a yearly basis. We talk to the families, uh, and we manage those cases as you probably saw in the news recently. Uh, we found more remains uh, in uh, Southwest Asia. That's one of those things we do. Um, families. Families are absolutely critical. If you don't take care of families, you're not taking care of soldiers. Uh, and so everything we do on a daily basis is focused on ensuring that we're able to provide uh, the soldiers with everything they need so they can focus and concentrate on the mission. Go to the next slide, please. We also do some other things that are kind of unique. Postal. I say unique. It's For the military, it's unique. We're the guys that do the postal service. And we actually run that out of uh, California uh, and uh, on the East Coast. Uh, in New York. Um, we also manage the phys Physical Disability Agency. Uh, that's soldiers who have been injured, um, and uh, we determine whether or not they are still able to perform their duties. Uh, many soldiers, uh, probably many of you are aware, as we go along, uh, a soldier may end up uh, getting transitioned uh, to another career in the military if they're unable to perform that, uh, the mission that they currently have. Uh, Scott mentioned earlier, but we're coming from three locations, primarily. Uh, our folks in Alexandria, uh, primarily the active duty military, uh, folks uh, that manage active duty military here. And then in St. Louis, uh, those are the folks that generally manage the Army Reserve. Uh, not National Guard, but the Army Reserve portion uh, of the Army, they manage those folks. And then out of Indianapolis, uh, we do a lot of our enlisted boards out of Indianapolis. Promotion boards, selection boards, we run there. So that's what's collapsing onto Fort Knox. Next slide. Two takeaways here. Number one, we're on schedule. Uh, we will start the movement of the majority of folks in June of this year, in just a little over 60 days, and we will complete that movement by October. So that's our window for arriving here at Fort Knox. And that's, as General Milano was talking about, we're a huge part of that inhale here at Fort Knox during that time frame before the Armor Center in school starts to party. The second takeaway here, we're starting to hire. Now we've told you that for a long time, I know. But uh, the chart that uh, Scott was showing a little bit earlier, not quite accurate, because it does change all the time. We have over 600 job vacancies that are on the street right now. Um, one thing I want you to, to understand is when you go on to CPOL online and you look, you're not gonna see 600 job vacancies, okay? Many of those vacancies that are out there have multiple positions attached to it. Some of them over 100 positions that are attached to that. So it may say, a given uh, uh, job vacancy announcement, it won't say on there there's 100 vacancies against it, it'll just say multiple. Um, but again, many of those have multiple vacancies against it. Okay? Next slide. We opened over 500 of those vacancy announcements during March. Uh, what that tells you is we're just right now getting into that real hiring. Uh, we believe that most of the people will be brought on between the June time frame and the October time frame. We're spreading it out a little bit over that period of time based upon the arrival of the organizations here at Fort Knox uh, within Human Resources Command. Everything from GS5s all the way up to GS15s, we're hiring. Um, and again, a good cross selection of those are already on the street. We have about another three to 400 job announcements that are gonna be opened up here in about the next 45 to, to 60 days. And then after that period of time, we believe there's going to be considerable churn here at Fort Knox. 
Um, you can imagine that if we hire somebody from a sessions command, potentially, they've got to backfill that position. If we hire somebody internally as a promotion within Human Resources Command, we've got to backfill that position. Those aren't counted. All those types of things are not counted in the numbers that we've, that we've talked about so far. Those are going to happen over the next few years. We believe we'll be continuing to hire people all the way into 2012.